So big spoiler warning before going into this video. These are real confirmed leaks for Deadpool and Wolverine. These are about mostly the beginning of the movie and we're going to go over all of these leaks over the course of a couple of different videos. But just so you know, none of these leaks are going to spoil the end of the movie. Just the beginning. But again, they are confirmed real leak. So this is your spoiler warning. A couple of days ago, we went over a review that IGN did of the first 35 minutes of the film. That was spoiler free, but now they have revealed a ton of details about the beginning of the movie filled with spoilers. Not sure how they're allowed to do this, but hey, they did and now it's out there. They even titled their article, Deadpool and Wolverine, 30 spoiler filled details from the first 35 minutes. There's a lot of leaks here, but the specific part that we're going to go over right now is why the TVA brings Deadpool to the TVA and what his mission actually is and why it goes astray. All right, let's begin. It says Deadpool is summoned to the TVA by Mr. Paradox, played by Succession's Matthew McFadden. Paradox offers Deadpool a chance to live in the sacred timeline, the Earth 616, the main MCU universe, and be among heroes like Captain America and Thor, a hugely attractive opportunity for the Merc with a mouth. They say Paradox's current project is to oversee the end of Deadpool's timeline, which is withering and dying because it has lost its anchor. And they will go on to reveal the actual anchor, but they continue to state, the death of a timeline can take up to thousands of years though, and Paradox hopes to speed that process up. And the way that he plans to do that is that he has developed something called the Time Ripper, a machine that can, quote, mercy kill, end quote, timelines. By offering a quick death to Deadpool's original timeline, Paradox hopes to prove himself a gold-tier efficient member of the TVA and rise to become its leader. All right, so right away, we have already suspected that there is something up with Mr. Paradox, Agent Paradox. We felt like he might be a villain of the movie, and he very well could be. Again, this is just the very beginning of the film. Obviously, they're going to reveal a lot more later on in the film, and the whole movie is about two hours and seven minutes, so this is all happening literally within the first 20 minutes of the movie, the first quarter of the movie, so who knows what could happen later on, but we do know what his agenda is now. He wants to use Deadpool and he wants to kill his timeline a lot earlier than it's supposed to actually end, and of course, this will end up killing everybody that Wade loves. But don't worry, we get into a lot more very specific details here. This section they title, The Death of the Fox Universe? Question mark, And they state, the Fox Universe is officially designated as Earth 10005, so Earth 10005. And they state that it's fading away because its anchor has died. An anchor is a person of vital importance to a timeline. And when Wolverine died in 2017's Logan, it triggered the beginning of the end of that timeline. Deadpool is from that very timeline, confirming that Logan and Deadpool are part of the same universe. So Logan and Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2, that all happened in the same universe, in the same timeline. They also state that Earth 10005 is the official designation of the original X-Men cinematic universe, so it sure seems like almost everything Fox is fading away. And of course, Deadpool doesn't like this, and they state... While Deadpool is thrilled to be invited to be a part of the MCU's sacred timeline, and he happily accepts a new suit from the TVA's tailor, he's reluctant to allow his loved ones to fade into nothingness. It would mean the death of Vanessa, his one true love, as well as his friends, and so Deadpool comes up with a plan. Find a replacement Wolverine and save his timeline. So, using stolen TVA timeline hopping technology, Deadpool searches across the multiverse for a Wolverine. His first stop is Wolverine's final resting place from the end of 2017's Logan. Deadpool's convinced that Wolverine didn't die, because that's not what happens when you have regenerative healing powers. But he's proved wrong when he finds nothing but an adamantium skeleton and some rotted flesh. His theory proven wrong, he visits a number of other timelines and discovers, and here is where they're going to list a bunch of Wolverine variants. One variant is a Wolverine of comic accurate height, five foot three inches, and this person is still played by Hugh Jackman, except he's been shrunken down using CGI to hilarious effect, they add. He sees a variant 
patch, Wolverine's gambler alter ego who wears a white tux with an eye patch. And they do say, sorry guys, he's not played by Daniel Radcliffe despite rumors. A miserable, old, gray-haired Wolverine wearing a hat and sitting on a porch. He's pretty similar to the Clint Eastwood-like depiction of the character in Mark Miller's celebrated Old Man Logan comic. Another variant is a Wolverine being crucified on a giant X. This is a reference to a Chris Claremont story from 1989 where Logan is tortured by anti-mutant cyborgs in Australia. A Wolverine in his original brown and tan costume literally about to fight the Hulk as he did in his first ever comic appearance in The Incredible Hulk number 181. It's funny that he says literally about to fight the Hulk because a lot of people have stated we get Hulk and Wolverine, but not how we think. Perhaps they don't actually fully fight. I think it would be a huge waste if they didn't, but he is clearly visiting a universe where they are about to, fingers crossed they actually do. He sees another variant sporting incredible glam, rock-like hair, and a black wrestler style costume, which reminded them a lot of X-Men's 90s style comic arc. And then he finds an utterly wasted Wolverine, drunk on whiskey found in a bar. The scene is reminiscent of scenes from X-Men, X-Men First Class, and the trailer for Insomniac's PS5 game. And no doubt that this is the Wolverine and the scene that we have seen in the trailers. And they state that when Deadpool discovers this variant wears the classic yellow and blue costume underneath his civilian clothes, he decides this is the Wolverine to bring back to the TVA. However, they state that, unfortunately for Deadpool, Paradox reveals that this Wolverine is an unworthy replacement for the Logan who sacrificed himself in the Fox timeline. Instead, this Wolverine is a failure who let down his entire timeline and turned to booze to drown his sorrows. And here is how Deadpool and Wolverine end up in the void. We were wondering how they got there, why they were there, and it's finally revealed here. It states, after realizing that Deadpool is going to be a hindrance to his work in ending the Fox timeline, Paradox sends both Deadpool and Wolverine to the, quote, trash heap, end quote. A Mad Max-like desert full of waste, including a giant 20th Century Fox logo. And we, of course, thanks to Loki, obviously know this place to be the Void. We've even seen Eliath in the trailers. It continues, Angered by being pulled into this crazy situation, Wolverine pops his claws and prepares to fight a bloody battle. This was, of course, the final scene of the preview footage. So in the preview footage that they showed them, the first 35 minutes of the film, they didn't even show them Deadpool and Wolverine fighting each other. They essentially just showed a lot of multiverse hopping. But we have found out some pretty big details about Deadpool and Wolverine with this description of all of these leaks. So 2017's Logan was the anchor of the Fox universe. When he died, everything started to fade. The universe is eventually going to die. However, like they mentioned, it's going to take about a thousand years. Paradox trying to become the new leader of the TVA thinks he could speed this up by using his time killer machine. And of course, Deadpool wants to save his universe, so that kind of goes against what Agent Paradox wants. So Agent Paradox is an antagonist of this film. Is he the main villain? Not sure. That's probably Cassandra Nova, but who knows what's going to happen at the end. But now we know why Deadpool chose this particular Wolverine. We know that he sees a lot of other Wolverine variants, and we know that they end up in the void because Agent Paradox decides that they're going to get in the way with him his plans. Now, what happens when they're in the void and get out of the void and go to other universes? That remains to be seen and that is super exciting to think about. Because if they do all of this in the first 35 minutes of the film, you know the rest of the film is going to be absolutely insane, especially the climax of the film. And I'm sure we're just gonna see a ton of different cameos. Now we only went over about half of the leaks that were revealed in this. We're gonna do a part two to this video tomorrow. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on that video. Comment your thoughts on these leaks and please don't forget to like this video. And you can also find us on Apple Podcasts Spotify, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And as always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.